Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to record your iOS device's screen and in-game audio without a jailbreak or a computer. And this method is permanent. Once you get this application, you'll have it forever. So, if you guys are excited to learn how to do this, please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, before we begin, I would like to give a huge shout out to AJ170 because without him, this whole video would not have been possible. So please check out his channel at the end of this video. Nevertheless, to begin, open the settings and scroll down to iTunes and App Store. Click on your Apple ID and sign out. We're going to be signing into a new Apple ID that you can find in the description below. Insert that username and password into the Apple ID sign in field and make sure that you're using the one in the description below and not the one that I'm typing on screen because it may change in the future. Anyways, once you have that information in, go ahead and sign in and if it says Apple ID is locked, do not try to unlock the account. Just click cancel and you can try again in a couple of days and hopefully the Apple ID will be unlocked by then. But if not, you can continue with the video and see another way to get video. Anyways, once you're signed in to the Apple ID, go ahead and open Safari and type in the URL iEmulators.com and switch to the app section. From here, scroll down all the way to the bottom where you'll see a new application called Video. This is the awesome screen recorder that allows you to record your screen and in-game audio. From here, click on download page and head to Video's dedicated download page where you'll see two options, a signed option and an Apple ID option. The Apple ID option is permanent and we're going to continue with that one from now. So click it and hit install and while you're there, subscribe to AJ170's channel because he makes some awesome videos. Nevertheless, once you arrive at this screen, click on the big green button and you'll get a prompt to install video. Click install and video will install. If this did not work for you, the Apple ID was locked, what you want to do to still get video is that you can install the signed version of video that's available on iEmulators.com. Go ahead and install it just like any other application from iEmulators. Unfortunately, this version can be revoked by Apple and is not permanent. And it actually has a couple of intrusive ads as well. So if you can use the Apple ID version, if it works for you, I recommend that one. But if you're using the signed version, don't forget to trust it by going to General, Profiles, or Device Management, finding the certificate for video, and trusting it twice. Once you've done that, you'll have access to video, and if you're using the Apple ID version of video, it'll ask you to sign in one more time, so make sure you insert that password that is in the description below, and you'll now have access to video. If you use the Apple ID version, it'll be permanent, which is awesome. So once you have access to the application, head back to your settings, iTunes, and App Store, and sign out of the Apple ID so other people can use it to get video. Once you've done that, you can sign back into your normal Apple ID and don't worry, video will continue to work as normal and forever. So using video is actually very simple. To record your device's screen and device's audio, make sure you check device audio and device screen. And for the best recording, make sure the device resolution is at 1080p and the device FPS is at 60 frames per second. And do not turn on the keep track files because that will crash video. Once you're ready to record, hit start at the top right, and here you can learn all about how to use video, although I'll be showing you how to do it now. And something that's very important to note is that while you're using video, you won't hear any sounds, but trust me, it is recording your device's in-game sounds. Once you're done, go ahead and click done, and now you'll be able to start your video recording by pulling up on the control center, clicking on airplay, and selecting video, and then your device's name will be there. Once you've done that, you'll know that your recording has started because you'll hear a beep. And then video will be recording your screen and the device's audio. Remember that you won't hear the audio, but video is definitely recording it. As you can see, I'm recording Super Mario Run, and what you're looking at now is actually the footage that video recorded, minus the iPhone and the background. Video is an awesome screen recorder and it records the audio really well. Of course, I sped up the footage just so that we can go on with the video and as you can see, it's really good. 
If you're trying to record GBA for iOS, you'll notice that it'll just record a black screen and you can't see what you're doing. To get around this, you can head to the settings of GBA for iOS by clicking the gear at the top left and then scrolling down to AirPlay, use as a second screen. Turn that off and now you'll be able to see what you're doing in GBA for iOS and it'll record it perfectly fine with the audio and the screen. So if you're going to record GBA for iOS, make sure to do that. To end the recording, all you have to do is pull up from the control center and turn off AirPlay mirroring and make sure that you allow access to photos for video and once you do that, your recording will be in your camera roll. Here you can view it, but I don't recommend scrolling through it because it'll kind of glitch out and it'll look weird. Just play your recording and watch the whole thing and you'll see that it recorded everything perfect. When you try to scroll, it just ends up very weird. Nevertheless, there's also the in photos editing options. If you want to do those, you can trim your video, the start so that you don't see the recording of video or the end. Um, whatever the case may be, if you just want to make your videos look a bit better. But if you are interested in making your videos look better so that you can upload it to YouTube and start to gain an audience, subscribers and a great channel, I recommend that you check out my tutorial on how to start a YouTube channel with only your iOS device. So you can edit your videos, upload them, all of that with only using your iOS device and get some really good quality out of it. So if you're interested on that, you can check out that video in the description below or the card on screen. Anyways, if you just want to upload your footage as is, you can do it from the Photos app by clicking on the share button and then clicking YouTube and entering your YouTube channel information. And just like that, you've now uploaded your Super Mario Run, Pokemon Go, GBA for iOS, whatever footage it is that you took on your iOS device to YouTube. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. As well as comment down below what you think of video. How does it compare to other screen recorders that you've tried in the past? I'd love to hear your opinions as I read all the comments. Finally, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on my icon on screen now. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter because I'm going to be doing giveaways for $10 iTunes gift cards for Super Mario Run. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.